What do you think about when you think about medieval nuns? Do you think about people who are artists, people who are multilingual, people who designed and made their own books? If you said no to any of these, well, let me adjust your perspective. Take a look at my slide. You'll see three images, a manuscript page, a detail of an embroidery, and a photo of the vividly painted nuns choir at Wienhausen in Germany. All three were used by late medieval nuns, but I think there's something else going on here. Their use of text and image is so innovative. And this is really where my research sits. I'm interested in the ways that women's intellectual history intersects with this awesome use of text and image. Let's start with the text and image element. If we take a look at the page on the slide, you'll notice these scrolls uh, with text in them in the margins. These scrolls or banderoles were a very popular motif throughout the Middle Ages because they are incredibly flexible. A banderole can contain uh, sound effects, it can work like a speech bubble, it can contain scriptural quotations, bits of the liturgy, it can even contain musical notation, something that happens often in prayer books from Cluster Meddingen, one of the religious foundations that I'm focusing on in my dissertation research. And what is fascinating about this is that in this relationship between text and image, um, it requires a viewer who is able to read the text, sometimes in more than one language, and connect it with the image uh, in ways that are often unexpected. Take this page, for example. Sure, you see the Virgin Mary standing there, holding a cherubic baby Christ, standing in that capital D. This is from a Psalter, and the word Domine is starting that next psalm. The banderoles, however, don't address God or don't address Christ, but address Mary. And so by reading those banderoles, by looking at the image of Mary, and by thinking about the psalm and the liturgical implications, you're asking a viewer to do a lot of work to activate a very specific spiritual experience that isn't just somatic, but also highly intellectual. Medieval nuns are often portrayed as sort of holy fools, uh, people who are more interested in an ecstatic experience of medieval Christianity rather than the intellectual or theologically rigorous experience that we often attribute to their male counterparts. What I'm hoping to do with my research is continue to build on the notion that these women are intellectually active, incredibly creative, and are building visual worlds of their own. Thank you.